Hi everyone, welcome to part 3 of Naper software tutorial series and in this video we are going to see how to do grain refinement using Naper. First we are going to generate this polycrystal which has 15 grains. Then we will choose some specific grains out of this polycrystal and we will refine them further. You can see I chose this grain and I refined it. And after doing that finally we will mesh the microstructure to get this mesh. Now the important part is while doing this refinement we are going to choose which specific grains we want to refine. We will not just refine all the grains and also different grains can be refined by different values. Now this single grain over here consists 25 individual grains over here. Similarly this grain also I am refining it to 25 grains but not necessarily you have to refine it by 25 to all the grains you can choose this grain maybe you can refine by 10 times. Now these are the all commands what you will need. First let's start with creating a microstructure with 15 grains and I am going to do output in form of .tws file and .ori file. The name of output files will be polycrystal underscore basic. On this left hand side I am using Naper through Ubuntu app and on the right hand side this is the working directory. I will create everything in this folder. Therefore first 15 grains that was quick. You can see .tws file and ORI file. If you open this ORI file it will show the orientation of each grain in terms of Euler angle. We have 15 grains therefore 15 sets of Euler angles. Next using this command we can visualize what we just created this slash data cell trs command you can control the transparency of image using this i am keeping 50 percent transparent but if you don't want it you can just remove all command hold together let's visualize it and you can see the image is created this is our microstructure this image has 50 percent transparency therefore you can see inside if you don't choose transparency you will get image like this now once this is done you have to create a grain refine file name doesn't matter you can give any name but you have to create one file which is a plain file and the example of that plain file is given over here this is the grain refine file we are going to use in our example what it should have is first column it will name all the grains our microstructure has 15 grains therefore 15 lines and in first column we are defining grain numbers from 1 to 15 and in second column you have to define this each grain you want to convert into how many number of grains. For example, the first grain I want to keep it as 1. The second grain I also want to keep it as 1. But when I come to grain number 7, I want to refine that grain by 25 grains. Similarly, if I come to grain number 14, I want grain number 14 to be converted into 5 grains. So you can control refinement of each individual grain. Let me show you this file. This is the actual file and just save this file in same folder. I saved it over here. Now I know if you have less number of grains you can just write that file manually but if you have many many number of grains you can write a MATLAB script to generate this grain refine file. Usually if you go into this .tes file you will able to see all the information related to microstructure. For example it has 15 grains then these are the seed values for each grain, the orientation for each grain, how many vertex it's, it has, coordinates of each vertex and everything and you can write a small MATLAB script to go over this information and you can identify the location of each grain in your microstructure and then you can decide if you want to refine it or not. I do it using MATLAB so this grain refine file is created using a MATLAB and I did that because sometimes I use a microstructure which has thousands of grains. Once you create this file and save it in the same folder then using this command you can do tessellation again which will do refinement. Over here we are inputting that grain refine file. So let's do grain refinement now and you can see Naper will go through each grain and refine it as per your input. Then let's visualize what we just did and you can see refined microstructure is created. Over here you can see the refinement. Again this is with transparency. If you don't choose transparency you will get something like this. Finally to mesh the microstructure you have to use this command. We are using tet element with order 2 which means tetrahedral element with 10 number of nodes in each element. And mesh quality I am keeping as 1 which means the mesh should be perfect. And then you can visualize again mesh using this command. If you do that you will get this mesh image. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these. 
you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together. For example, let's say if you're interested in ANSYS tutorials, you can go to this ANSYS tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist. All the codes and files which I use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's GitHub profile. The link of this profile is given in the description box below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching.